Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. The video you're about to watch was shot two days ago. I'm shooting this now as a precursor before we post that video to go live. What we found in the video you're about to see prompted us to drop a hefty chunk of change for us on something that's going to improve the quality of our home. Say hello to my filtered friend. We got a HEPA air filter. Set that down. I hit the camera a previous take. So we have a HEPA air filter we got from Lowe's that we're going to stick in the bedroom. It's rated and designed to filter out and purify the air. So that's what we hope it does. All right, guys. Without further ado, here's the video that you all are probably dying to see. It's a doozy. Well, welcome back. It's the next day, and we are where we have been for a while. Uh, we just got back from Lowe's and we picked up two different things to help address our water leak um, issues. First is some waterproof flashing tape. This is probably more ideal for windows and doors, but it's super sticky um, tape that I'm going to try and repair the gutters with and fill in any kind of holes in the siding. Um, we have plans to address and fix the exterior of our home. It's just not right now. So this is a patch, literally. and We'll fix it later in the future. Also, while we were there, we saw some of this rubber flex spray on sealing stuff. No clue if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot too. Um, probably try this on the gutter, cause it's black. So we don't wanna spray it on any other non-dark areas. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the ladder and go outside and we'll address that first. So we're outside of the house now. This is the other side of the wall where the kitchen is. And this is where we came yesterday and noticed that it was leaking. Um, we think there's probably this there's like a hole in a divot we think that's what's funneling water in and under the house but I'm gonna start pulling some of this off to kind of investigate and find out a little bit more All right, I'm gonna see if this gives us enough room to get in here and see what's going on. Okay, yeah. So that's probably what's causing the water leak because it does go under this rim joist and that's the issue. That's where it was leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this next section off to make sure there's no similar issues here and then I'm going to fix this while it's pulled off. That looks good. Hello kitchen! or dining room, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, so this is exactly the spaces that we pulled the insulation out last night. So, all right, um, do a little cleanup work and tape work and see you guys in just a second. This is where all the water was funneling in and it's really bent out of shape. So I'm trying to bend it back to keep the water from funneling in. So we're a little bit further down on the wall because we want to see what this looks like further down. And there's also a wasp nest in here somewhere. And we're thinking if it's an epic huge wasp nest, you might want to see it because we want to see it. Let's hope I don't get stung. At least you're not allergic. Right. I'm going to back up a little. 
That was one that just fell out that was dead. I tried to spray this nest at one time. I don't know if I got it though. <laughs> Look okay, they're dead. Ugh. Are you sure? That yeah. one sure looked alive. Well, yeah, it did. Or are they just so cold that they can't move? Well, no, that one's definitely dead. <sighs> All right. Chill bumps. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. Take this siding off. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, that's a good size one. Oh, let's see it. There's half of it. There's the other half. And then, oh my gosh, look at our bedroom wall. We got four. Oh, how's a fly? All right, this is dry. This is old rot. So that's good. That needs fixed. Electrical fire waiting to happen. Well, at least the wasp nest is dead. Any other comments? I can understand why as you get to this point, you pretty much like, let's just tear it all apart and start new. But we can't do that. We don't have that luxury. So it's going to fight our desire to do that. We're going to have to just put it back as best we can for right now, knowing that we will fix this in the future. We just can't do it right now. Went down to the workshop and dug around spare parts. And this isn't what you want to use. But this is what I found to use as a replacement a uh, nail plate for this wire like we said earlier this will get addressed just not today so this is a fix temporary fix um, but this will allow me to put this wire back up in place and hold it safely and be pretty good Of course the battery's dead. Why wouldn't it be? It's just like two feet that way. Just in the wrong direction. Hey, it held. Yeah, but I'm gonna move it down. Um, I don't like the wire resting on the edge of this metal strap. So I'm gonna move it down to where it's only gonna hit the wood at the bottom. Here we go. Now, unless gravity reverses, this wire won't be touching the side of this metal bracket anywhere. In which case, we'd have bigger problems. Okay. Uh, we've cut this L bracket here, and we're going to use it to secure and strengthen the stud here and is this the wrong one that's really stiff this one that one no it's this I one. think the next one. no this one all right this one <laughs> um we're going to secure and stiffen this up here again again patch job but that's what this is all about yeah i got a mold <laughs> one thing at a time one thing at a time right that's our bedroom right yeah i know It looks really gnarly, but there is still um, a good bit of wood still here. It's just rotten right here at the bottom from an old leak. This is before we replaced the window. Make sure that's flush. stronger now
So I actually had the idea of robbing some of these panhead Phillips screws we had on some other trim pieces out here to attach this much better and flatter. So good job, Angel. I'm um, getting ready to flash tape over this to just make it totally sealed up. And then of course, get these uh, rubber head roofing screws, which I have a lot of for when I built my workshop and fill in all these other screws that I've robbed. Andy, any other holes we find. So Angela's talked to me into trying the rubber flex spray on here instead. Um, there's only like one little pinhole, maybe that one. Um, so this should work pretty good. The only bummer is we got the black because we had the white and we decided to choose the black, but it's gonna stick out, but whatever. It's not really a bummer. The house is so pretty though. Oh yeah. I think uh, having floor leaks is more of a bummer than black on brown. That's different. We're not impressed with the spray on flex seal. We can still see a little bit of holes here and there and we've done about three coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this window flashing, which I am very impressed with. You peel this off and it's pretty much like a tar, super, super sticky layer. So we're gonna put this on here as well. We don't want this to mess up on us later. You gotta take it off. It's upside down. <laughs> Don't do that to me. <laughs> I was really wondering what I did wrong. <laughs> it's like something I do to you. Ah, got that flex stuff all over me. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. We are inside the house now. We've got all the stuff outside taken care of. And now we are going to address the floor we've already put down to see why it slopes down in comparison to the new floor. So we've got to go and tear up the OSB that we've already put down and fix that first. Which should be easy. <laughs> right, yeah, it should be easy tearing that OSB up. Not tearing it up. Sorry, unscrewing it and properly removing it in a careful fashion. So I found out that the blocking is off by two popsicle sticks high. So we're going to go down to the workshop and cut a small shim to place underneath it so we don't have to remove everything. We're back in the workshop. We got our shims cut. We'll go ahead and put on this board and get back to square one. Now we're back with shim set number two. Hope this works. While Angel is attaching that back down to the floor, I'm going to go ahead and do the blocking. For this next piece that we're going to put down all the blocking is done angel has the other osb reattached it's all level so now we can take this full sheet here get it in place and attach it that's kind of a long way around to get to this point yeah Check this out. What? Walking on the new floor all the way from Angela to the living room. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. So Angela's not in the mood to take any kind of break. We are maximizing the fact that her mom is watching our boys. We're gonna tear the, well not tear, we're gonna move the stove out of the way and we're gonna continue with this width of flooring all the way to the wall, which is what we started two days ago, if you remember. Two or three days ago? Two days ago, okay. Two or three days ago, we can't remember. We're finally actually getting there.
go. Just don't, <laughs> That's sturdy. <laughs> just don't go with the floor. That's a lot more sturdy than this was. Right, it's not sturdier than my foot. Oh gosh. <laughs> Isn't it? That's sturdy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> you think, know. yeah, I'm gonna go whoa. I think I got wiggle jiplash. <laughs> or jiggle whiplash. Oh gosh. There's not ever been any water right there. just finished all the blocking for the next sheet right here and Angela's cut me my last blockings that'll go from this last joist and under the wall to the other I'm not really sure what to do with the plumbing just yet as far as proper floor support we are gonna have to cut this off to install the base cabinets and everything but we do plan on reusing all of this black ABS there's nothing wrong with it the studer vent right there still works it doesn't leak so if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm just going to cut it, we'll put the cabinet in, and then I'll glue a coupler in place. That'll be good. I am going to go ahead and run two PEX pipes. You can see them right here. I got two half inch pieces, 10 feet long, red and blue. I'm going to go ahead and run them here, and then fish them under the floor over towards the washer. That's where the main, I guess, water line or artery for the house is. It's over on that side. So I'm going to fish it under there. And then when we get to the point of doing the floor in the laundry room, I'll tie it in or decide what to do with it then. I know this gray polybutylene pipe is no good because when we moved the house here, we had several of the connections come apart and break. And that was a fiasco in of itself as far as getting water lines connected. The back bathroom is totally PEX. The washing laundry hookup is totally PEX. This will be PEX. Front bathroom is PEX. The only things that will remain poly polybutylene, I think it's polybutylene, it's not polyethylene, whatever, gray pipe, is the main run from like bathroom to laundry, laundry, and then to bathroom. So, the little bit of pecs we can put in when we can is well worth it. I have the ends taped up so they stay clean, and I got them taped together with some aluminum tape. All right, I've decided to go ahead and cut this right about here. I'm gonna leave myself enough sticking up out of the floor, but also enough here to glue a coupler on. Um, Cause I just want to drill a hole in this new floor that's going down just for the supply and drain lines to fit through. Okay. Tear this tape off. We'll get this P-trap out of here. Hey, perfect timing. Don't tilt that, it'll spill the water out. Just sit it outside, we're gonna need it later. And now because we don't really like the smell of sewer in the house, I guess we're weird like that, I'm gonna tape this up close as best as I can with it being a little bit wet from that water. Stop. 
here we go. Now that's nice and capped. We've got our current supply lines and our new ones, and everything's real happy right there. Happy little pipes. Well guys, that's it for today. What a day. I'd say we got a good bit done. It was a lot more productful. Productive. Productful. Yep. Productful. It was a productful day. <laughs> productive day um, with the boys at my mom's. Um, we did get some outside time. <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, talk about just knowing that this is the tip of the iceberg with the house. But it's okay. We'll get it done. We will. It's worth it. It is. Definitely. Well, I'm too tired to think of anything else other than thanks for watching. Um, we didn't get all this floor done, so we'll save that fun for another day. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow because Angela works tomorrow. Um, we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed that tomorrow while she's at work, I'll call the store. They may have the window we need for the kitchen. And if so, the boys and I will take a little miniature road trip down and get that. Maybe. That's about an hour drive, I think. Yeah, probably. So, and what do you think? You think we got two days left of flooring? <sighs> I don't even want to guess. Um, considering this... Maybe three. Consider this took us two days. Just... Well, we had to go to back do and do some stuff, too. I know. So, I don't know. I don't know if we have two days or ten days left. Hopefully only two or three. <laughs> right. <laughs> Regardless of what we have, we'll be sure and bring you guys along. Yes. Leave us a comment below. We love reading them. Um, we're trying to respond as fast as we can, but with us working a lot and you guys leaving a lot of comments, which we love, um, we're not super fast on it, but we will get to you. So definitely do that, and we appreciate it. Ditto. <laughs> All right. Let's find something for dinner for the boys. It's like 8 o'clock, and we have no kitchen, so... Um, PB and J. No, just PB. <laughs> PB. PB with bread. All right, guys. See ya. See ya. The one we get on camera strips out. Amateur. So we've got to this window. So we found out the thickness of the joist differences. No, what are we what am I saying? and rip a scrap piece of wood to this thickness, come back and shim up that joist um, that the... <sighs> so, yeah. Well, we... We figured out the original... Gosh. So we found out that the block took place underneath it so we don't have to remove everything. You said that a lot smoother than me on those previous tries. I'm gonna look taller because I'm on wood. That's fine. Right. You can be tall. I'm too tired to be taller.